Hi, it's Gail the Planning Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am planning in my recipe planner. I'm going to write a recipe for potato salad, which is a family favorite, and we often use it as a main dish. But I guess I'll just put it under family favorite. And this is a soup, so I don't want to put it on the back of that, and that's a sauce. So I think I'll just start with a fresh sheet. I'm making this recipe planner for my grown children. And at the top, I'm going to use a thicker nib. This is a calligraphy. No, this is not the right pen. Sorry. Let's grab this Tombow pen. It has a wider nib and I'm going to write potato salad. And I have a baked potato. This isn't really a baked potato, although the last time my mom served potato salad at her house, she actually cubed the potatoes and roasted them off in the oven. It was quite good, so I should probably try that. But anyway, I'm just going to use this potato for potato salad, even though it's a baked potato. But I like to add a sticker. Just kind of snazz it up a bit. This serves a crowd. And the main ingredients are potatoes. I'm going to say the difficulty is a three only because you have to have the ingredients and chop them up and that kind of thing. Prep time. Oh, golly. Um, the cook time, it probably takes about 15 to 20 minutes to cook the potatoes, maybe. So with all of that, oh gosh, I'm not sure. I might put like 15 minutes. I don't know. I never time myself. Um, for serve with, I'm going to write, you know what, under notes I, is where I think I'll, all right, um, add tuna, ham. What else do we usually add? Usually tuna or ham, as desired. We usually serve it with burgers. All right, so in the travel pack, which I love this pack, have you seen these new stickers yet? There are some flip throughs on YouTube. These are fun. I wanna make sure I'm in shot. The past couple of times I've been a little bit low. These are very nice, and I'm just gonna do a quick little flip through. <laughs> Envelopes are fun. These kinds of stickers here, you wouldn't necessarily need for travel. This is what I plan to use. That's why I put my elastic band there. I wanna use these hexagons as bullets, but let me show you Even this could just be a birthday party or any family event. It doesn't have to be a travel. Same with the itinerary. If you have a ball game or a big shopping day, packing list, that'll be fun to use. Obviously, those are vacations and hotels. A fun countdown. I'll have to remember that because my husband and I are going to take a little trip this June. Those are fun. Love that. It's a good page. That's fun. Some good words. Weather stickers. 
These are foiled. I like the train. I'll remember that the next time my daughter comes home on the train. Some letters, dates and words, flight info, two pages of that, a couple of checklists. Like these. These are fun. I like those. Maps. Big world and a big USA. Those are nice. It's a nice sticker book. So I think the hexagons were here. So I'd like to use these. They're sort of colorful. I'm going to use them as bullets. <clears throat> so I'm going to write up this recipe and try to speed it up. And we'll talk towards the end. So there's my recipe. I made a little mistake here. Forgot to write about adding the celery and the onions. I have a little cheat sheet over here. I must have missed it somehow, but that's okay. I think it somewhat flows. This is a potato salad that we made with olive oil because um, my daughter had has food allergies, so we could never use like mayonnaise or... Miracle Whip or anything like that. 
So I will make a second one of these for my son's book and put it back in my recipe planner. If you enjoyed this recipe plan with me, please hit the like button. Check out my other recipes in my playlist. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.